Welcome to our C, CD pipeline tutorial for a Next.js 14 application using GitHub Actions. We'll begin by naming our workflow C, CD pipeline. This name is displayed on the Actions tab of your GitHub repository. Our workflow will be triggered by two events, a push to the main branch or a pull request that targets the main branch. This setup ensures that our pipeline runs for code that is intended to merge into our production codebase. We now define a job called build and deploy. Each job runs in an environment specified by runs on. Here we use Ubuntu latest to run our job on the latest version of Ubuntu. This is a common choice for web applications. The first step in our job uses the actions checkout action with version 2. This action checks out the repository code so that our workflow can access it. This is always the first step in a job that interacts with the repository contents. We use the with statement to customize this action, setting fetch depth to zero. This fetches all history for all branches and tags, which is useful if you need the full history of the repository for your build steps. Next, we set up the Node.js environment. The actions, set up node action is used to install Node.js version 14. It is crucial to match the version of Node.js you use for development to ensure compatibility. After setting up Node.js, we install dependencies with npm install. This command reads your package JSON file and installs all the dependencies required by your next JS application. Once the dependencies are installed, we use npm run build to build your next JS application. This step compiles your application and prepares it for deployment. It is crucial as it catches any compile time errors before deploying. The final step is deployment. Here we use a conditional to check if the push is to the main branch with if github ref equals equals refs heads main. If true, it runs the deployment step. For demonstration, we use echo deploy to production environment, but you'll replace this with your actual deployment commands. Remember, you must replace the sample echo command with your deployment script commands, which could be something like npm run deploy. Ensure your deploy script is defined in your package JSON or within another script file within your repository.